I look like I've matured. I look like a Thai Thai, honestly. <laughs> Hi. See, I told you I'd be back for another video in two weeks. That's how we're doing it now. If you haven't watched my Sri Lankan vlogs, please go and check it out, especially the third one. No joke, I spent nearly like a hundred hours on that vlog and I'm really, really proud of it. I think it's almost better to watch on TV, which I have never felt like that for any of my other videos before, but... It's a good one! Anyway, hi, how are you guys? I want to give you guys some life updates. I wonder if I'm doing a get ready with me. We're like very serious today. I'm like sitting in the armchair. I have some big announcements. Don't freak out. I want to start over. I want to do a big reset. I want to refresh my entire life. I feel like up until this point, okay, I've done content creation for nearly 10 years now. I really enjoy it, but I've also known that I've hit like a plateau. I feel like because I've done my job for so long, I've become super complacent and comfortable with how I do things. And obviously the way that I made content like 10 years ago as a uni student is very different from how it looks right now as someone who is almost turning 30. So at this point, unless I make a change, I'm gonna keep feeling burnt out, keep feeling stuck, keep feeling bored, and with like a general scatterbrain and a loss of direction. I need big physical changes, a big reset to really move on. So, first thing that I'm doing that is quite huge is that I'm going to be moving out of my house. Brenda, where will you live? Brenda, where's your new house? I'm gonna be moving in here, my partner's house. It's only slightly bigger than my current studio apartment now, and I've always felt bad for this, but I know that I still owe you guys like an apartment tour of the current studio and an apartment tour of the penthouse. If you guys don't mind it being like kind of late, I can still kind of walk you through and show it to you maybe. But for right now, my two-year lease for my current studio apartment ends in July and my partner and I were having this discussion trying to figure out if renting for another year makes sense. Okay, so just a little bit of context if you aren't familiar. I moved in here almost two years ago now, coincidentally two doors down from my partner. But I knew she was here, but you know, we coincidentally found the place. And I've been basically living here ever since. Like, I do my day-to-day -day in my partner's house, and my own studio is just sitting there looking pretty, racking up an expense, and I don't use the space as much. It's very difficult to juggle, like, two apartments if you're not really living in the other one, even though it's just, like, two doors down. So yeah, after a lot of back and forth, at first I honestly thought this was gonna be impossible because I have a lot of stuff, but therein lies the other problem, is that I just have too many things. I feel like with my job over the past 10 years, I've been very, very lucky to be sent, like, a lot of things, and I myself also enjoy shopping, I like to buy things, I like to review things, especially when I can share them with you. So I think I definitely do have more things than the average person. I don't think it's crazy, and to be fair, I keep them very organized, okay? Already in defense mode, but really, you'll see it's not that bad. It's just a bit cramped for the size of my studio, and if I were to move in here, I would need to downsize even more. So in order for me to be able to move in here, I need to get rid maybe 50% of my things. That includes all of the furniture that I've collected, that I own, my clothes, my things. It's very stressful. I honestly think that I might cry, but I would like to document this journey just in case anyone is kind of feeling the same way that I am, like just kind of stuck and you need a refresh and you just need someone to do brave things with you while well, I need people to like, you know, cheer me on because like I'm fucking terrified. So hopefully with me documenting all of these things down and really trying to be accountable for what I keep and what I bring into this space that I already love and trying to streamline and curate things that are definitely my style to get rid of things that I've already grown out of and that are no longer me and just have less stress about owning things, about having a higher expense and just focus on being zen and creative and chill. It can sound like a first world problem but I just know that you guys can relate. Having too many things, feeling like you don't want to waste anything but it takes up space in your house, it takes up space in your mind and it's just really stressful so let's do a big decluttering. 
So after the physical detox, I also want to do like some other forms of detoxing. It's part of my whole year mantra, like I just want to be refreshed and renewed. So I'm also going to do like a digital detox and then like a spiritual detox. So I feel like the physical detox is like the first big step that I can take into feeling more renewed, more refreshed, more excited about what's to come. To do that, we sort of have two ongoing projects. First one will be decluttering from my current studio. I can show you glimpses of what it looks like now. There are parts that are glamorous and that are beautiful and that I've managed to keep very organized and tidy and then there are some parts that have been just left to rot because I live in a studio and there is no storeroom and I cannot hide everything away. And you can come on my journey with me as I try to pile my things down. <laughs> And then on the other hand, we'll also be working on this current house, which is my partner's house. I'm gonna be calling it the new house, okay? Just humor me. So in this new house, it isn't really made to accommodate my things lah, let's be clear. <laughs> I have a lot of things and my partner had also moved in during the pandemic she bought this house so we can do a lot of like different renovations and drill holes and just do whatever the hell we want which is really really exciting outside of my parents place i haven't owned my own space so being able to do all of these like diys and projects is really really exciting so the main point of our small little diy fixes will be to add more storage to have a better separation of different spaces so that we can both do our work or like have some peace and quiet when we need to and also at the same time to incorporate my things with hers so that's also quite fun I can't tell which one's more fun okay maybe this one's more fun getting rid of my stuff I don't know I don't know how fun it'll be man so yeah consider this a proposal um, to hang out with me and to basically move me in to my girlfriend's place and create a new home together so I'm gonna be taking some time to like film and edit and all of that but if you want you can follow my Instagram and TikTok to see me do things in realer time and also at the same time if you're looking to pick anything up because I'm getting rid of like 50% of my things if you want to score a good deal and pick up a pretty thing you can go and check out this telegram yard sale I've used this for like two other of my house moves y'all score some really good deals I get rid of my stuff fast it's a win-win situation so go and check it out so yeah that's what we're doing all the way until until July, I'm gonna be working my little butt off. Stick around if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and also subscribe for more. I'll try to upload every two weeks, but I might have some bonus videos every week if I can. If I can, it's just me. So, yeah. And can we just like get a consensus if we like this more subtle money piece more than the blonde? I feel more sophisticated, I'm not gonna lie. I quite like it. I was a little bit scared because I felt like the blonde was very me. So get you a hairdresser that knows you better than you know yourself. Man. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I hope you're having a good day. Bye!